Here's the hapless minister blaming everybody but himself. On our end, we have done everything we can that is within the control of the federal government. Now we need to work with airlines and airports at dealing with the flight delays and luggage handling issues because they we need uh, the cooperation of airlines and airports to address these issues. Anyways, put aside the current airport meltdowns, I was talking to this gate agent about the extremely limited exceptions there were for letting unvaxxed people fly on planes the past year. Planes, by the way, have some of the best air circulation anywhere, as you could probably guess. I mean, it's easy to get a stream of fresh, cool air when you're flying at 500 miles an hour, five miles up. Great ventilation. Um, <laughs> don't take it from me. In fact, no one less than Teresa Tam herself said that transmission in a plane is extremely rare, but Trudeau banned the unvaxxed from planes, though he permitted them to take the same journeys at a fraction of the speed on buses. I mean, riddle me that one. But uh, here's what this Air Canada staffer pointed out. There were extremely limited exemptions for medical reasons. So Air Canada actually had a team of doctors whose job was really to reject uh, exemptions, a History of anaphylactic shock, in fact, was not even enough, for example. And extremely limited religious exemptions. I'd be surprised if there were a grand total of 100 exemptions granted by Air Canada in the entire country. But here's what this Air Canada staffer told me. There were no compassionate grounds for exemptions. So, for example, if your parent was dying uh, and you wanted to get to the deathbed or had died and you wanted to get to the funeral, tough luck. You couldn't fly uh, to say your final goodbyes or, or to bury them. No compassionate exemptions were allowed. But here's the thing. Even if you were a conscientious objector to the vaccine, but you said, look, this is awful, but I want to be beside my dying wife in her final moments. Fine. This is extortion, but fine. I'll get the jab. Just let me on the plane. Well, sorry, it wouldn't work. Because Air Canada and the other airlines were forced by the government to make you have both jabs. And I think the rule was 14 days apart. So there literally was no way to comply, even if you surrendered your conscience to Trudeau. Too bad. Uh, unless you had a time machine to go back in time to take the two jabs two weeks before you found out your family member was dying, no luck. So it was purely vengeance and punishment it was a way of rubbing your nose in it that you dared to defy trudeau now enjoy a personal pain that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life no science just trudeau's political bullying with the support of the entire establishment and this air canada staffer told me it was his job to tell people who were grieving that they could not get on the plane even if they took the jab that was his job imagine having that job it was a bit of a downer, frankly, but I was happy to travel again despite delays both coming and going to Calgary. But you can make a mistake in life by assuming that what you see is what the world is. That if it's not in your field of vision, it's not happening. Solipsism is a word for that. So while I was happy to travel again and happy uh, to be back um, to the fairly free city of Calgary, and perhaps that might make me hopeful, perhaps I put a spring in my step, but I have to temper that self-centered happiness with other observations. What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday I do a monologue, usually it's about half an hour, then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix. And in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for 8 bucks. I think it's worth it. And even if you're not quite sure, do it anyways, because... We rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent. I promise you I'll never take a dime from Trudeau. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe. Thanks.